Online Business Mastery. Video number seven, setting up Google Analytics. Let's walk through the process of setting up Google Analytics for those who have yet to take that step. A, choose the right analytics option. Google offers three analytics options, Analytics Premium, Analytics for Mobile Apps, Analytics Standard. Number one, Analytics for Mobile Apps. Choose this option if your business has a mobile app for which you want to track statistics. Number two, Analytics Premium. Larger organizations, those starting with 1 billion hits per month, should opt for this paid version, which includes a service level agreement, technical and implementation support, expert training, and support for higher hit volumes. Number three, Analytics Standards. This is the free version of Google Analytics and the one commonly used by small businesses. It has plenty of features to help you measure conversions, such as email signups, form completions, and sales, as well as track website traffic and visitor information. Google Analytics Setup Steps Number 1. You'll need a Google account to use Google Analytics. Number 2. The account associated with Google Analytics should be one that only you control. Go to Google Analytics site and click the Sign In to Google Analytics button, located in the top right corner. Use your Google account credentials, i.e. username and password, to sign in, after which Google will present the three steps required to begin analyzing your site's traffic. Number 1. Click the Sign Up button. This step begins the process of setting up your Google Analytics account. Number 2. Complete the new account form. Click the Sign Up button takes you to the new account sign up page for the website you would like to track. Give the account a name, your business name will do. And then complete the fields for the website name, website URL, industry category, and time zone in which you want Google to report tracking data. Number three, choose data sharing options. These options let you customize how you share information with Google. Your data is secure and confidential, but you can give Google access to it in aggregated form to help improve your site and other sites as well. Number four, click the Get Tracking ID button. Clicking this button gives you the HTML code you will need to insert on the website you want to track. Google will first present you with its Terms of Service Agreement, which you must accept prior to gaining access to the tracking code. Number five, implement Google Analytics tracking code. After setting up your account, place the tracking code on your website, which you can do in one or two ways. Add it directly to each page of your site or use the tool called Tag Manager. Number six, add code directly. It requires that you have an understanding of HTML and have access to the source code on your site. If that's not the case, you will need to hire a web developer to handle the implementation. Number seven, use Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager is a free tool that makes it easy to add and update website tags, which are snippets of JavaScript code designed to use with multiple analytics and ad performance tracking tools such as Google AdWords, conversion tracking, and remarketing. Configure user management, views, goals, and webmaster tools. Click the admin link found at the top of the Google Analytics dashboard to access these components. Many small businesses use Google Analytics to track statistics related to their websites, such as site traffic, visitor information, page views, and conversions. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.